Okay. So I think we're just going to record. Okay. Right. Good luck. Thank you. <coughs> Hi. Great to great to see you all here. Um, so we're very very lucky today to have Dr. Dr. Brown up. This is from Kef and Celestian. Uh, Jack did his PhD and graduate degree on dark side. The institution we're doing lots of work. Is it the one on the south coast? <laughs> I think it is somewhere. Yeah, else, yeah. In the sea. Yeah, by the seaside. Well, it's sunnier, so my wife keeps telling me. No, it's rainier. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, yeah, he did his PhD on Facebook optimization, and he's going to talk to us about a new paradigm of compression driver design. So, very exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Uh, yes, yeah, so first of all, the most confusing thing initially is I'm actually from KEF, but I'm talking about Celestian stuff, really. But they're the same company, uh, really. We're both part of the same group. And uh, when I joined, I joined KEF, and I do work mostly on uh, hi-fi speakers that KEF make, but a lot of my research work has kind of ended up being in face plugs and compression drivers. So w there's a lot of crossover between the two, the two companies. Um, so... For those of you who are not familiar with them, uh, Celestian is actually one of the oldest loudspeaker manufacturers in, in the UK, so founded back in uh, 1924. And they're probably most famous for being the company that produced the first dedicated guitar loudspeaker. Uh, guitar, guitar loudspeakers look like this, and they've looked like that pretty much for 70 years. Um, and they're really derived from old 12-inch uh, paper cone radio drivers, which is what Celestian would have been making before somebody said, oh, could you make a guitar loudspeaker? So it's an interesting side of the business. Uh, but what we're talking about today is uh, compression drivers. That's a compression driver, and I'll show you more pictures in a minute so it becomes more clear uh, you know, what exactly we're talking about. Um, so I, I put this together based really on two uh, papers that, uh, were presented uh, a few years ago, actually, the AS-139. 